Hey guys, Crafty here from Living in Beta and in today's video we take a look at all of the content CD Projekt Red placed in patch 1.6 relating to the upcoming anime Edge Runners. this of course releasing on Netflix it's September the 13th 2022. There is also of course a load more content that came with this patch if you're looking for a more deep dive into that visit the description down below where we have a full three hour live stream including myself and the community coming together and exploring all of its offerings. Also, don't forget to catch us every Wednesday where we explore the wondrous world of Cyberpunk 2077. Now let's strap in and uncover the mysteries of David Martinez together. The first big content addition to the patch relating to the anime comes in the form of a brand new side job housed in Santo Domingo. Selecting this in the journal and making your way to the location, you'll find yourself manoeuvring down the side of a highway support evading a multitude of pizzas slash pizza boxes and finding a discarded BD headset with the alluring presence of the words play brain dance appearing on screen. Ignoring any parental advice you've ever been given, of course we decide to stick it on and experience whatever it has to offer. Strapping ourselves in, nonchalantly ignoring the hygiene of the situation, the BD has housed inside a scene from the upcoming anime itself, which we were told on the announcement stream is actually the opening sequence of the series. To avoid spoilers, I won't showcase much of the scene in this video, but what I will say is the mixture of a location we are familiar with, weapons we are used to, cyberware we rely on, and characters we already relate to, sprinkled with new and interesting stories that help flesh out an already rich world, is an afterlife cocktail I want to get my hands on. After the BD finishes, we are met with some ominous wording trying to help us think about our actions, completely forgetting that by this point 90% of the player base has already punched fingers and lost him as a ripper dot forever. I was thinking of this, um... Oh, I can't believe you've done this. We then wake up from our confusing slumber, greeted by a quest named Over the Edge, prompting us to drop our good friend El Capitan a text message about the matter. He begins to tell us about an important figure in Night City's history named David Martinez, and gives us a subtle jab for not knowing the name already. Interesting note here, your response on why you haven't heard of Big Dave is different depending on your life path you have chosen. Pretty cool if you ask me and another reason why life paths matter. I see you comment section. We then wait a day for Al Capitan to respond with more info, but instead are greeted by some geezer named Falco, who essentially is either part of Big Dave's crew or at the very least knows a real lot about him. He warns us not to dig any deeper, feeds us some fluff on how well we are doing for ourselves and sweetens the deal by dropping off some gear for us to pick up from El Capitan. This is where we get the first bit of Edge Runner themed loot in the form of a very stylish yellow jacket. The eagle-eyed players among you will have noticed that the little description on the item below mentions that David used to wear this and before this his mother Gloria. This could be an interesting insight into some of the story of the upcoming anime, alongside the fact the item itself comes with stamina related melee mods and a trauma team employee goes bad aesthetic, it only makes edge runners more enticing. Brilliant job here by CD Projekt Red to build up the hype, I for one cannot wait to watch it. The next piece of loot takes us to the city centre part of Night City, more specifically Corpo Plaza, with the closest fast travel points being either Metro Memorial Park or the classic Arasaka Tower. Now here you've got this kind of ring um, uh, circle area surrounded by roads of course and those of us who have played Cyberpunk for a while know that this can be a bit of a maze. So what you want to do is come up to the, I think it's the third layer of the ring and you're, what you're looking out for is these three monks, sometimes two, I've had a situation where there's two, but these three monks um, sat down kind of, you know, embracing monkism uh, and lights on the floor like this. There is similar locations like this around the ring, so just make sure you look out for the indication of these three monks. Then behind them, there's some a shrubbery, and you'll see a lovely legendary gun icon or legendary weapon icon pop up in front of you. And this is where we pick up the iconic shotgun relating to the anime named Guts. Now Guts itself, of course, it's, it's awesome to have another shotgun in the game. Who doesn't love popping off? But you can see as well, it says in the little blurb down below, originally belonged to Rebecca from David Martinez's crew, which is a character that was again referenced on the stream uh, in the Night City Wire stream. I think it was the main presenter's favorite character. It will wreak bloody havoc, though it can be a little unpredictable, much like its original owner. And you can see here it's got not only obviously power from Ricochet Off Services, but chemical damage, crit chance and crit damage, poison chance, and a big headshot damage multiplier. Um, it also says, of course, let the lead fly, shoot faster, deal more damage. 
accuracy be damned don't just don't shoot your eyes out and what it really means by that is um, there's been a lot of people um, saying both in chat on stream and and just in general that it kicks so much when you shoot you can see the recoil is massive right um, which again I think is more related to the character in in, uh, in edge runners and again to the blurb that of course is on the gun right it's a pretty interesting gun does a lot of damage but you just need to embrace that kick but hey it's a shotgun you want to fit want it to feel powerful and this gun definitely does feel powerful the last thing mentioned in the patch notes relating to the edge runners anime is new photo mode features not only can you of course pose with a new jacket and shotgun alongside everyone's favorite pet nibbles there are what i can only presume some anime themed poses as well to help diversify the art that can already be created by an amazing photo mode community nice addition we can never have too much photo mode features so there it is, all the features that are mentioned in patch 1.6 relating to the upcoming Netflix series. Now of course there can and no doubt will be some other easter eggs out there to find which in turn will become more prevalent when we start to relate Edge Runners episodes to the in-game version of Night City. I'm excited to see how it turns out and once again want to give CD Projekt Red big props for launching the anime in this way. Too many times have game companies tried to create content in different avenues without consulting or awarding their already loyal fanbase in the gamers that play their games. I really hope and I'm quietly confident that the anime will be a huge, huge hit. Let me know in the comments below your thoughts and feelings on the upcoming series or even your opinions on the patch itself. We're always happy to have a chat. You know I'm interested. And of course, like the video if you liked it, share with your friends and family, subscribe for more content like this one. And remember... Don't be a gog.